Hello, I'm Dr. Martin Wade, a consultant dermatologist and the medical director of London Real Skin, which is the skincare and aesthetic branch of the London Skin and Hair Clinic. As a dermatologist, acne is a very common problem that we see uh, with patients. We see it on a daily basis, basically. There's lots of different types of acne and also lots of different severity of acne. So it's very important to have an initial consultation and uh, formulate a, a good acne management plan depending on the type of acne that's present. In the teenage years, it's very common. Uh, nearly every teenager gets some degree of acne. Not all need to come to see a dermatologist, however. Usually by the time patients come to see me, their acne is down along the more severe end of the spectrum. And we're often thinking about using systemic treatments and also potentially a medication called oral isotretinoin. Another pattern of acne we commonly see is in women in their 20s and 30s and this tends to follow more of an hormonal pattern of acne and we see inflammatory lesions occurring along the jawline mainly. This can also cycle with the menstrual cycle as well. Treatment options for that are slightly different usually and we sometimes use some hormonally based treatments. Acne can also persist into the adult years in men as well. And often this tends to be a quite severe form of acne where we get facial acne, but also acne on the chest and the back. What other techniques can we use for acne scarring? Well, in truth, we often use a combination of techniques. So medical microneedling is a very popular treatment for acne scarring because it's minimal downtime. But then at London Real Skin, we also have a range of lasers that we can use for acne scarring as well. And often we might use these in succession, starting off with more gentle treatments and then going to more aggressive treatments for particular areas if required. We have an Erbium YAG laser, which is a fractionated resurfacing laser. So that comes in very handy if we're trying to do a deep and aggressive skin resurfacing technique. But we also have Moxie, which is a much gentler and lighter procedure, which does a similar job, but is just not quite as strong but is suited for people who may not have such severe acne scarring or people who can't afford to have uh, as much downtime as we might get with the more aggressive lasers. We also have BBL, which stands for broadband light, and this uh, can stimulate the skin to repair itself as well. And so this can be used in combination with the other resurfacing treatments. The advantage of BBL is that there's minimal downtime with this procedure.